What's up? This is KLG, Crazy Awesome Radio, and I'm Cloudy Girl, and we're doing something uh, live right now. This is a Drunken Fest Friday, and we got Nine Heart in the studio, Nine Hearts in the house, and we're going to interview him real quick. He comes from Germany, all the way from Germany, and tell us... How do you like your stay in America? What's going on? Well, uh, first, of all, first of all, hello, Claudia. Uh, thanks for having me here. And yeah, how, how do I enjoy my stay? Pretty far, good. It's a long, it's kind of like totally different than like Germany. And I mean, I'm staying like not like inner city stuff. When I'm normally somewhere else, it's normally like in the center of the city, like big core. And so you see a total different side that you would expect when you would come to America. And yeah, so far it's been pretty good. Has it been a big culture shock to you so far? Like any differences that are super radical? Like for example, when people like ask me also, my my family also asks. And like, for example, you have like drive throughs like everywhere, pharmacies, you have shops that are even open at like uh, Sundays, which is not a thing like in Germany. In Germany, if you don't get your stuff together before Sunday, you're fucked because on Sunday every every store closes, like, it's, it's different, it's more, well, could you say alive, I guess, not alive, but it's always like active. You always can go outside and do something. You also can do it in Germany. Like the most like piss off for me is like, and this may sound like, oh god, what the fuck? Yeah, drinking in public. Like what the fuck? In fucking Germany, you go to into one store, get your beers, get on the streets, walk to uh, a bar or some cool place, go inside. Or just walk around and go to the next store to buy a new beer when you're out. Yeah. Beers are, yeah. It's it's different. It's really something else. It's a little more strict here for all that kind of stuff, like uh, yeah. being in the public and stuff. You can't you can't drink. You can't do certain things. It's kind of yeah, like, I'm like yeah. I, but with the chlorine, you were talking about the chlorine. Yeah. Um, you can taste that shit. For example, down here, like in Texas, it's kind of weird. I'm saying called Christy, and when I go to like certain like fast food restaurants, like not all of them, but for example, like they give me like Dr. Pepper. When I buy it at the store, it's like total normal, but when I taste it there, I'm like, well, what the fuck, there's fucking chlorine in there. I'm like, whoa, well, I totally can taste it because. I'm not used to that, like, what the fuck, man? That's not an ingredient you should put in water to drink. <laughs> so you can taste it? Like, I can't believe that you can taste that in the soda. Well, it's just that um, I'm not used to it, so for me, uh, I also work in a company where we use, like, um, we use chlorine as a cleaning fluid, yeah. like a certain cleaning fluid, so I know the smell of chlorine and when I drink it, it's just, I taste it immediately, like what the fuck, like also the food, like some of the stuff like I ate like a Chinese restaurant and yeah. the salad tastes like, what the fuck, it tastes like not natural, like salad man, what, what can you do wrong with freaking salad, just go to field and pick the fucker up and chop it and there you go, but no, apparently it has to taste totally weird and I'm like, oh, I can't even do that. What else have you been doing? A lot of skating? Mm. If you saw all my Facebook shit and Twitter things, you will see that I've been done a lot of skating. I didn't like really bring a board and just like got one here, which is actually from freaking Toys R Us. Who also were fucking mad that we, that, like I, drove around on freaking boards inside the store. Um, but yeah, so a lot of skating. What also is kind of weird that the streets here are really 
full of gravel, so it's not so cool to skate on. In Germany, you can skate on sidewalks or even like the streets. You're you're not allowed. Please don't do that. That's not like go to Germany and skate on the street. No, don't do that. I didn't tell you to do that. Um, but yeah, um, it's just like what the fuck. You can like skate good at like um, school grounds, but you're not allowed to here. And John, you skate like almost everywhere. So uh, I really like skating, especially like longboard. Um, I got here like a shortboard, and it's fun. It's really fun to go outside, do something. Like I'm the guy who always talks about making music, who makes music like most of his free time, but I also always like to go skate, like, I try to do, like, at least every second day, go out on the board, just drive around, out into the nature, through forests and stuff, yeah. like, where all the bicycle dudes ride their bikes out, the tourists, because I live in a village where a lot of tourism is also going on, especially in the summer, with, like, um, getting on a boat on the river and stuff, and driving a bike and I just like to scale like to feel the the total like total freedom. I hate it when I have too much shit yeah. going on. I want to feel the air, I want to feel how I can control the board. You See, know. No, but how long have you been skating? Because you haven't been skating for that long, have you? It's, that's pretty impressive. Um actually you can say I got my first board for myself to stand on. Um three months ago. Before that I had one when I was a child, a skateboard, really cheap one, but I didn't really use it because I never could really stand on it. You know, just do the things that normal kids do, just sit on it and go down the hill <laughs> for like maybe a week because I really can remember from a childhood like one day when I saw the board <laughs> and that's basically it and it was somewhere around the house it just laid and rot. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm usually not a skater and now I've been skating for like three months. What piqued your interest into it? Like what made you want to start skating? Um, well, kind of like Gumboy got me started from Austria. Oh, it was your shout out to Gampa? Yeah, Gamba, Alter, you geiler Sack, ich liebe dich, lass uns eine um, Beziehung eingehen zusammen unsere Körper vereinen, Öl tränken und einfach nur das tun, was wirkliche Männer machen sollten, wenn sie eine Männerliebe empfinden und sich besser kennenlernen wollen. And yeah. yeah. So um, when we before we went to Belgium to Nintendo, the installment this year where we actually played, yeah. um, we were in Koblenz and had to wait on our guy and the ride to Belgium. So he had got his longboard with him and I was like, yeah, I want to skate, I want to skate, man, this is perfect, the fucking alley here. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Man? Why the fuck do you got a board in the back of your, your freaking car? I was like, I always take it with me. And then I stood on the board with holding, oh my God, this is so wibbly wobbly because it was a longboard. One of the um, top mounted, not a drop through. Yeah. And so that was the kind of experience. I was like, "Hey, I, sh I kind of I should maybe get into it and sh start to learn." And it actually went pretty good. Like the first three days are like I guess like the ones where you really learn it. The first day you can't really do shit. Like oh my god, has you have to step um, always off the board. On the second day you make huge progress. On the third day it just hits you that. All the progress you think you made is fucking like shit. You totally fucked up. But you just have to um, continue with it, and then you will get better. It's just about training and go out. Balance. Yeah, try try if somebody wants to get into longboarding or skateboarding. Just try to get like at least every second day out there, and not just try like half an hour and then oh, uh, I can't do it. No. Just keep it. It's like with music, you just have to keep at something. And now, I don't want to say believe in that it will work. No, you have to put effort into it. Yeah. See now, okay, you got a show coming up tomorrow night. It's gonna be a chip team party in Corpus Christi. You're playing with Cloudy Girl. Yeah. 
and uh, this is going to be at gosh, what's the name of it? 1321. It's a new place. It's been it's been around for a while, so that's going to be. I haven't been there yet. Yeah, we, we will put the link in the description. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, yeah, we'll put the link. We'll I, I actually feel like the show is a little bit more secret because. Um, yeah, it was like a many, show. many people didn't even know that I was in America. Like, I feel, I uh, remember like talking to Kuzka briefly on Facebook and he was like, Oh, you're in America? And I was like, Yeah, yeah, <laughs> why, why does nobody really Shout know? Shout out to Kuzka. Yeah, to Juan Manuel La Rassabel. That's some would say in German. You fucker. Yeah. <laughs> So he gave you, he, he was talking to you, he was freaking out that you were in the States, he didn't know. Mm. That would be a good trip to go to California. Yeah, and also shout out to uh, Babyface, because he also didn't know I was in America. He was like, what the fuck, where are you, man? We need you here in the Midwest. I will come out one day to the Midwest. Yeah. Um, then we can do something together. Babyface. Who did something? Babyface. Babyface. I think he was... Was he disorder? Uh, mm. Undercover disorder. Undercover disorder. Yeah. And I think he retired that name. He went back to babyface. Yeah, I would say you never really retire like a identity. It will always be like a part of you. Do you ever plan to change your, your name? The, there was a time um, back, back in the days, ABC days, when I thought about to change it. But I was like, no, I should like kept it. You you just starting out, just keep to the name. Then I got a little bit more attention, and I was like, ah, just just stick with it. Come on, it's it's fucking long hard. That's what you do. You excited for the show tomorrow? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I don't know how many people will show up. I don't know how they will react to all the songs I'm going to play. I'm gonna play like a usual set for me, maybe. Also from some new songs, I have one I really, really finally want to try out on people, how they react. It's a really, in my opinion, a really dancey one, a really catchy one. Yeah. With like mad technique, like who, like everybody who follows me knows that I always like praise and say like, oh, Chip Trash has to be more about technique, flow and yeah, style. It has to be aggressive, it's, it has to have its own style, it needs just important, I want just to not not like take it to the next level, but when I hear like to chip trash, most of the time it's just freaking drum rolls, like kick drums over and over again. Like, yeah. I want more than that. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited to see how everything will work out. It's weird to bring your own beer, like what the fuck man, oh, just, yeah. just freaking sell it. In Germany, <laughs> at every party you can get beer, they fucking sell it. It's a BYOB show, yeah. and uh, I'm not sure what time we're going to start. I don't remember, it might be 9. I have to look it up. But, um... Uh, wait a second, I actually can look it up if I think. Um. But yeah, that's going to be... Uh, I, I want to know how many people are going to be there. Oh yeah, we have to fly. Okay, we got to fly here. We so. got to fly. So just tell me the good people of the world everything. 9 p.m. And that's going to be at... Yeah, 1321. $3 cover. BYOB for 21 and up with proper ID. Yeah. Cloudy girl, and heart. Um, $3 cover and we don't see a cent. Yeah, of course. That's how that goes. But we do it for the fun. If we did it for the money, we'd be rich. I wouldn't say rich. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I do it. And people ask me why I do my music. I usually say I don't like do it like for a big audience. I do it more for me. Yeah. Because I have fun with it. It's like part of my identity. How I do it. And still, I kind of separate like the person behind Nine Hundred, and it's me. Yeah. Um, separated for me, Nine Hundred is also somehow kind of a character um, that I like to play out and have certain ideas what I want to do with it. 
Yeah, but you yeah. can play new stuff. Yeah, yeah new stuff some new stuff. Um, I have lots of broken progress shit, but I also have like finished new stuff uh, for the. for the uh, album, which I'm currently working on, and I still can't say when it will come out, I hope that I finally managed to bring it out like this summer. The last EP was still uh, Hund für Sund, which was kind of my debut, yeah. but I guess when you will hear the new songs and all the stuff I've been creating for this, it's gonna be like a huge like progress, really different. You changed your, you progressed in your style since you started. Yeah, you, you could say that I like, kind of progressed, but not in that term, like, the sound still is familiar, it's more, still dark, chip trash, you, you can hear, like, stuff on my SoundCloud. Um, but yeah, this time it's more like an organized release, where more I look to maintain a style. More structure. Yeah, because with like Hunfasund you had like one intro which was kinda of, like breaky with like the arm and samples. Yeah. And then you had um Solomon Grundy's Fabulous Casino Zone theme which was more just beat and repeated.